Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day what's in my bag and the bag that I'm using today is the mini backpack in performance twill and the color is very red. A lot of the same accessories that have been in some of my other videos but um, there are a few new things inside and I also have a mini haul um, on what I got at the signature store yesterday. Yes, I have failed my spending freeze, but I did take advantage of the 50% off sale on retired items and also 25% off everything in the store. So first, I will show you what's in my bag and then I will get to my little haul over here. Okay, so this is the Berry Red Mini Backpack. I will link my review of, I have a couple reviews of this style on my channel. One that I did last week on the Tranquil Gray version that's also in the same fabrication, Performance Twill. And I also have one that is in velvet. So I will link both of those reviews down below. But to start with the what's in my bag, and this, by the way, is just a beautiful, rich, warm color. It is showing up a little bit brighter on camera just because my window is directly behind the iPad and it is a very gray, snowy day. So um, the cast is a little white just because it's snow outside, um, but the color is a lot richer, a lot darker than it, what it's showing up on camera. Anyways, for the what's in my bag portion, you'll see that the inside print is the same in my other performance toil items that were in tranquil gray. So we've got that beautiful black background with the pops of grays and matching red flowers on the inside. And in here I have my chapstick, hand sanitizer, two sets of keys, and my pepper spray. And you get one zipper that goes around with that pocket. The main opening has that double zipper. And here is a sneak peek of everything that I have inside. So again, I mean, some of the stuff is a lot of the same stuff that you've seen before, but I do have a couple new items inside. So as for this slip pocket, this is one of the new items that is included in my mini haul here. This is the Performance Twill Zip ID, and this is in the pattern Bedford Plaid, a Performance Twill pattern. Didn't like this at first when it came out, mainly because I'm not a fan of plaids, but all of a sudden, a switch turned on, and now I really like this print. So I went through about six or seven of the zip IDs in this print in the store, and this one had the best placement. So you have a black and white background with black plaid on top, and then you have some florals widely scattered. I mean, the, the print, it, for some items, it can be a challenge getting the pattern placement you want because I saw lots of IDs that had not one flower on the back, and that's because, you know, it's a pretty small item. So, you you know, sometimes you win, you lose with the, the flower placement. And this was one of the only ones that had flower placement at all in the entire store. But they're black flowers with white outlines, and this one is, or they both have that light blue, but then you have these pink dots and red dots in the flowers there. Just super pretty. I, I don't know why, it, it just all of a sudden I, I started really liking this, but um, I've been wanting a uh, zip ID that's, you know, for, like the performance twill material, the water resistant material, so I thought this one would be a good one especially with the good sales that are going on right now in the store. Also in my bag, so you know, the usual 31 heart pouch, but this time I'm using it a little differently. It's my mask pouch. So I have two masks in this pouch. Um, I'm totally fine with clipping it to the outside. As you can see, it goes really well with the berry red. This flower right here is pretty much the exact same color. So I, I did have that clipped on the outside. But I also just like throwing it inside too. Um, this is the RFID card case in Indio. Got my business cards and grocery lists in there. This is my mask pouch in I think Tropical Navy by Lug and I just have a regular mask inside of that. 
Owl's iconic round coin purse. AirPods go in there. My Cinda B Let's Get Techie pouch and Purely Peacock. It's got my Vera Bradley iPhone, or no, Vera Bradley battery pack inside, as well as a charging cord and a wall plug-in. My usual lotion. This is the smallest pouch in the pencil pouch trio in the print vines floral, and this just has my wet wipes inside. I've got my um, double eyeglass case in Hummingbird Park, which I heard that this print is going to have its full release in April. So excited for that. Stay tuned. Here is my tissue case in Pirouette Pink. I took the key ring off of it. So I have my tissues in the front magnetic flat pocket. And in the zipper pocket, I decided to keep my scissors and my nail, like nail file, nail clipper type stuff. I also have those little bottles um, with my migraine, Excedrin, um, and Tylenol. So those are just kind of chilling at the bottom. Um, and then I do have the zipper pocket back there. There is a zipper pocket, and that's just got like band-aids and things in it. And again, I'll link my other, uh, my most recent Performance Twill mini backpack video. It's just basically the same stuff, just a different color backpack. And um, I'll link that down below for a more in-depth look at that. Um, and I think this brings me to my haul now. So I am wearing um, the, the new Vera Bradley Tamara readers. I think this style is called Tamara. And these are actually zero strength. Um, I was told uh, that they, these are brand new. The zero strength ones are brand new and they have the blue light blocking technology so um you know it's supposed to help i guess take the pressure off your eyes when you get the blue light transfer from your computer screen to your, your telephone um or you know tv ipad phone etc emits blue light which apparently hurts your eyes could cause migraines or um make your headaches worse. I'm someone that does have uh, chronic headaches, migraines all the time. My eye doctor did recommend that I try blue light blocking. So I thought, you know, this is great timing. Might as well give these a try. So this is the case that the Tamara readers came in. This is in the newest print Paisley Wave. And this is the only item that I have in the print so far. You can see I got the puffer fish there. I really like this pattern. I will probably wait until things go on like mega sale to get anything in it. Um, and I also think there's just not very many bag styles right now that I'm crazy about that come in this print. So, and every zip ID that I've seen in it, um, I just didn't like the placement enough to get it. But this little eyeglass case has great placement. And here is the, the jellyfish, which I really like. I love the Paisleys. I'm a huge Paisley fan, so I, I really do enjoy that. And I think this looks good and like the big totes and everything, but I don't need any more Vera totes. I think I'm Vera tote out. I have enough. Um, same with small Veras. I have enough of those. Triple zip hipsters. I also have enough of those. And um, I just now realized I was wearing my, I was wearing my uh, AirPods this whole time. Sorry about that. I wear them so much that they're like a part of me now. <laughs> But anyway, all that to be said, like, I, I love this print, but there's really nothing that I need in it. Not that I need anything anyway, but, um, yeah, so I just wanted to give these glasses a try. And I'll take them off here so I can uh, show you closely what they look like. So you have, like, a, um, I forget what that print, this brown, has, like, a name to it. But to me, it, it's always reminded me of, like, a, a subtle cheetah-type print, but it's, like, black and brown. And then you turn it to the side and you have the Paisley Wave print. I'm trying not to shake it, but um, yeah, it's actually on this side of the, the glasses. But if you look really carefully, it's really hard to see because I am filming on an iPad. But there is a diamond 
VB right there on the edge. It's extremely small, but. Um, you also have the name of the glasses on the inside, Tamara Paisley Wave. That's also really small, so yeah, the camera's not even gonna pick that up. But anyway, just the main look of the glasses. You have the brown fades to like a clear color, and then you've got the Paisley Wave on the side, and this is what it looks like on me. So right now, everything is uh, like a sepia filter. If you're familiar with that type of filter, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, so I started wearing them last night, been wearing them all day today. I did have a headache when I woke up this morning and because it's Saturday and I had a really long week at work because we had our, our, one of our biggest events that we do, I had to transfer the whole thing to virtual. So it was a, a stressful week. So when I woke up this morning and I had a headache, I just wasn't in the mood to deal with it. So I just took Excedrin right away, tried to drink a lot of water, um, and now I don't have a headache. I put these on right away too, you know, because I am on my phone quite a bit, unfortunately. So I wanted to just give these a try. So once I use these a little bit more, um, I'll come back on here and, and tell you what I think about them. But again, they are zero strength. So they're not enhancing, you know, the like visual qual quality of what I'm reading and seeing, but just blocking the blue light for me is um, the reason why I got these glasses. Okay, so that is one item from the haul, and then again, the other item uh, that I got is the Zip ID, which I'm currently using. The other two items that I got, so this is Mahogany Medallion. This came out, I think, a little bit before the holidays. And if you're familiar with the other medallions, there was Lilac Medallion, which was a purple version, Charcoal Medallion, a gray version, and then uh, Raspberry Medallion, which I have... Uh, my mini backpack in is a pink version. They came out with this uh, mahogany brown version uh, a couple months ago and apparently it wasn't you know one of the best sellers so it's going to be retiring soon. I personally love all of the medallions. I know there have been several of them. I think charcoal just by my observation, it seems like Charcoal Medallion was the most popular because it was on the website for the longest time and it didn't go on sale for the longest time too. So I think that one, especially because it's a, a one of the most neutral color palettes with the grays and the blacks and had some like ice blues in there, that one did really well. And I think that one is my favorite of the four medallion prints, but I did want to pick up something small in the new mahogany or relatively new mahogany medallion so it's a very dark probably a black background there but then you have you know the chocolate browns you have the caramel browns in there um these are these white circles they're just a little bit off-white and of course because it's a little bit dull outside today the colors aren't as vibrant as they usually would be but there's also specks of navy in there, as you can see here, and also inside of the medallions themselves. And I really think that makes the pattern pop for me. I love the, the added navy colors in here. And there's the interior print. So this was, I think, kind of a limited release in that there weren't very many bag styles in it. There was like a Zip ID, a Campus Backpack, Mini Carson, um, maybe a triple zip hip, a, a triple zip hipster, a few other styles, but really there weren't many bags in this. And again, it's going to be retiring soon, but this was included in the, um, uh, everything sale. So I decided to pick it up and I really like the placement. Placement's actually very similar to my, um, Lilac med Medallion Zip ID, which is one of my favorite Zip IDs. And then the other thing I picked up is this, um, let me make sure I get the name right, Garden Grove Mini Cosmetic. So there was a few to choose from. And I'm not too crazy about this pattern. I loved it when it first came out. And then I was not liking it as much as time went on. And now I think now that it's on Mega Sale, I do like it. I don't think I need any bags or anything in it. 
I love the mini cosmetic and I like the placement with the, the blue and white rose and then this mint color flower here. I also really like this flower and the deep pink in this one. And of course you have the pops of teal up here. I, I like those just enough to pick this up, but there was a lot of Garden Grove stuff there. There were 100 handbags and Carson's and travel bags, uh, larger cosmetic bags. Tons of zip IDs. Not one of them had desirable placement uh, or preferential for me placement. So I didn't get anything other than this, which is good because I don't need to be buying stuff anyway. But I can always find a use for these mini cosmetics. They're so versatile and they fit so much stuff for being small. I do like this, this flower back here too. Very pretty. And so this has, you know, that zipper pocket in the front it's not plastic lined and then you have the inside pocket which is plastic lined and actually the the best part about this print for me is the trees inside the interior of the interior Let's see if I can get a good look here Just pop this out might as well Let's see we'll see how well it does um, a little bit of a glare but look how pretty the trees are and some of the trees have fruit on them you see some strawberries down here in the grass it's just a very very pretty interior which I think you know if they filled in the gaps a little bit more this could even be a great exterior print I think I like the interior better than the exterior but still it's very pretty and again I like the placement on this a lot and I can always find use for the mini cosmetics. So this was one of the small things I hauled. So this was half off plus 25% off, which is why I felt it was a it was a good buy. Okay. So yeah, kind of a, a, a shorter video for me today. I just wanted to show you what was in my Valentine's Day bag, the mini backpack in Berry Red Performance 12, and just a mini haul for you. I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, what have you, a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.